Prague has been an important political, cultural and economic center, not only in the Czech Republic, but in a greater European region throughout its more than 1,100-year history. In 2014, this former seat of two Holy Roman Emperors and crucial city in the Austro-Hungarian Empire attracted about six million tourists, mostly foreigners from Germany, Russia, the US and the UK. These tourists enjoyed the numerous sites located in the extensive historic center, which is included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites, as well as over 40 five-star hotels. More than exist in Warsaw, Poland, which has far more inhabitants than Prague. The most uh, important reason why actually uh, so many companies uh, establish their headquarters or start their, their businesses in Prague is the quality of life. It's, it's difficult to measure it, uh, but it's here, uh, it's in the city, it's in the people uh, who are very tolerant and open-minded. Uh, culture is, is everywhere. According to the Mercer Quality of Living Survey 2014, ranking over 200 cities on quality of life, Prague is the best-rated city of the so-called former Eastern Bloc. The city's economy totals almost a quarter of the country's national GDP. In addition, the city holds its place as the Czech Republic's main educational center, with over 30 universities, attended by over 144,000 students, more than 30,000 of which are studying at technical faculties. Many of our uh, employees are graduates from these universities. Our clients are uh, really benefiting from the fact that uh, the level of uh, foreign language, you know, which, uh, which our employees deliver, deliver service in uh, is on, on very good level. You know, we, uh, we can offer services in uh, close to native or uh, native level of the uh, delivery language. We have a couple of employees which uh, are uh, not trilingual, but also people with uh, five languages spoken. Accenture is a global management consulting, outsourcing and uh, technology company. In Prague, we started uh, more than 20 years ago. So it was in uh, 1991 and uh, our first activity which we, which we started uh, uh, providing was uh, around management consulting. Business process outsourcing, uh, uh, which I'm actually responsible for in the Czech Republic, uh, was added in uh, 2001. In Tholland's top 100 outsourcing destinations, Prague was ranked Europe's third most attractive place for such services. The city is also known for its life and sciences projects, thanks to the Biotechnology and Biomedicine Center of the Academy of Sciences and Charles University, the nanotechnology research at Czech Technical University, the Institute of Chemical Technology, as well as its ICT and R&D sectors. In addition, Prague is becoming a technology and R&D epicenter for the automotive industry, with companies such as MB Tech Bohemia, Porsche Engineering Services, Ricardo Prague, Valio and Tuv Sud Czech setting up camp in the city. Furthermore, Prague has been consistently strengthening its services sector since 1989. In 2001, 77% of all employed in Prague worked in services, and in 2012, that number grew to more than 80%. Prague is very attractive for a wide range of projects, uh, especially for the project with high value added like research and development or strategic services. Uh, because in Prague, where it's very high economic level, more than 130% of European average, it's not possible to get any investment incentives. There are a number of projects under construction, all aiming to transfer the industrial area into a residential one, including an underground six kilometer long road that wraps around the northwest section of the city a highway and railway, Troja Bridge, a Devichka Motol metro line, and general revitalization of Charles Square and Aviatica. The Czech government, as well as Prague City Hall, follow an investor-friendly policy. Almost 70% of the industries in the Czech Republic, the majority of which are in Prague, run on foreign capital. This has made the city one of the largest markets, with a larger FDI than any other city in the entire Central and Eastern European region. Either the market entry or market exit are both very simple. Taxation is below the EU average. Uh, legislation changes from time to time, but it's nothing, uh, nothing dramatic. We have got quite a lot of British investors. We appreciate that and we hope that some more will be coming in the future. If your company is looking to do business in Prague, contact UKTI for details. <laughs>